What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue building this hot rod beetle. Um, we got some pretty cool stuff planned for today. But before we're gonna start with it, um, we got the new cam belt for the Porsche. So uh, we first just wanna see if it fits and then we're gonna continue yeah. with the beetle. Cause because it is, if, it's, if it doesn't fit, we have to take it back. We have to take it back cause it's a um, cam belt for a Golf. So we're not sure if it's like the right size. We yeah. first have to check that and then we'll continue with the beetle. Cool, let's get started. Let's do it. Okay guys, so it looks like we need like a um, bracket or something that goes over here to hold the tensioner in the right position. So um, we've got a few things at the back, so, so let's go check there. Check there if we can find the right thing. Okay. It took us a while to figure that out, but eventually we got something. Yes, because I got this, but I don't think this goes there because it's only yeah. got two holes and there's four. Four, holes yes, there. yes. So, so let's see. If we can find anything here for that. Just take the tire out then. I think so. Mm. Uh, that's heavy. <laughs> There's our other beauty. Can you guys remember it? Just kidding. I know you're oh, old. Oh no. What is it? Check out this. Ooh. It says Porsche on the intake. I never still saw that. <laughs> that's cool. Okay guys, so I don't think, I think it's a right belt, but we don't have like the right mounting something that goes here. It's like a water port. Uh, this one looks like it will fit here, yeah, this thing, but... It doesn't have the, um, a place for it to screw on. Yeah, or... for this to screw on, because we need to, this needs to be screwed on somewhere here, yeah, on like a bracket. Because I checked it on Google, so it needs to like go there somewhere. Okay guys, so we went through the boot and uh, we didn't find anything but then i realized there's like a bucket inside the car with full of space we full forgot space. about it yeah so we found the old cam old cam belt and the tensioner but we got new ones now anyway so it's fine yeah, it's fine and, and we found and we also found this thing yeah i'm so happy about it so this goes here and, and then also the tensioner bolts onto there and you can like tension okay. it so if we look at this, I think it will fit. I think, I think it it's will. It's a perfect fit. We actually want to do a compression check on it to make sure like everything is fine. And it turns. And, and everything turns because it's also like open. All the sports are open and there's no um, spark plugs inside the head. So hopefully it's not dirty like the golf was. <laughs> yeah, but once again, we will sort it out if we'll it is it like that. We will sort it out if it is like that. Yes, yeah. So. But I'm glad we found all these parts because I think it's going to be a struggle to find it if yeah. we didn't add it. Or even costly, I don't know. Yeah. You know, it's, I don't know. So, but, but yeah, uh, let's continue. Are we going to do it now and then see if it turns? Or are we going to go continue on the beetle now? We'll decide now. Okay, okay cool. <laughs> okay, guys, so when money is not enough, you use three. tightening this thing because we just want to see like if the belt fits so that's why we want to tighten it i realized that this actually comes there goes here yeah. yeah so we were wrong we yeah. admit it <laughs> but we figured everything out as we go let's see guys so. yeah <laughs> cool
Okay guys, so remove the uh, tablet cover to see if the uh, cams are in the right position. Um, but when I did that, I saw that the head bolts are loose. So uh, That means it doesn't got uh, the yeah, gasket, right? Yeah, and then I saw there's no gasket on, so it's not going to help like, that we put on the belt. No, to see. Try yeah. to do a compression check because there's going to be no compression because it's just going to leak. So we first yeah. have to like, get a like a head gasket and then put that in and then hopefully everything is fine and then we can see if there's uh, some and compression on the And if the motor the will turn or what? And if the motor will turn. Okay. So we do have a sample guys, uh, this is an old one so you can't use it, but luckily we have a sample to ask for to ask one. and we can match it. Yeah, we, because some of the one. places don't always have the disc uh, Porsche codes on their computers and stuff, yes, or and on then, their system. And, and then they can just like match it with whatever they have. Yeah, So yeah. this will help a lot. This will help. Cool, let's go search for one. Okay guys, so this, we have no luck finding a gasket. gasket for now. There's someone who said they'll call us later if they have one. Yeah. So for now we're gonna continue on the Beetle. Okay guys, so um, we're gonna hold on for this for a second because we mixed up some paint for the Porsche and they let us know that it's done. So we're quickly gonna go and pick that up and then also just like drop off the sample for the head gasket so the guy can see if it matches.
Okay guys, so we got the paint. We didn't get the, um, what do you call it? The head gasket. Yeah, they said they're gonna phone us. They're they'll, looking for one for us. They'll phone us when they find one. Yeah. So hopefully they'll find one. Yeah, but we so. got the paint. I'm excited to see how it looks. Yeah. Should we show them? Uh, I think so. Okay, or should we keep it for the next video? <laughs> I think we can open it and see how it looks. Okay, cool. Guys, okay, so what do you okay, think so, about the color? Yeah, this is the original Nardo Grey. Yeah. Because uh, we took it to, we went to the paint shop yeah. and we said we wanted Nardo Grey. So they went on the system and they found the original coat for Nardo Grey. For Nardo Grey. And they Grey. mixed it um, according, according to, to the that. coat. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the original Nardo Grey. Oh my Okay guys, so we sanded down both the doors on the inside and also here and underneath there. We cleaned everything there. So um, yeah, I think it's ready for paint now. We are yeah. just going to paint them blue. Yeah. Um, We're not going to give a, a base coat, a primer. primer. Yeah, because it's just, there's the anyway, there's like carpet going over there. Anyway, yeah. So we're just going to paint it blue. so we forgot to like cover up one of the marks yes so i'm just gonna cover it up and sand it down and then we can paint
Okay guys, so I think everything turned out amazing. It's we also beautiful. We also painted underneath there. Um, so I think it will look cool. We wanted to make it black at first, but then we decided to... To make it blue. To make it blue. So I think it, if, when everything is put together, it's going to look nice and clean yeah. under there. So I love this blue color. It's a nice color. <laughs> I really can't wait until the whole car is painted. Yeah, it's like painted, blue, yeah. blue. Yeah. So. And it's almost... It, it almost have a like a... I don't know how to describe it, but it's got like, you can see it's darker blue and then it comes like almost like a green blue. I don't know how to describe yeah, it, but it's, it's really nice. It's like if between, you see it with your own it's eyes, between, it's much more nice. It's between nicer. dark and light blue, so yeah, yeah, that it looks cool. I, I love so. this color. So that's going to be a wrap for this video. So if you haven't, please like and subscribe to our channel. And remember to check us out on Instagram for weekly updates. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.